Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a different Let's Play. Today we're going to be playing Final Fantasy on the Bravest for the iOS and Android devices. Um, now Final Fantasy is one of my favorite game series of all time. Uh, probably my favorite of all time. Um, so let's get right into this guys. <clears throat> we're greeted with a nice uh, opening message here. Uh, we are going to uh, get right into the combat. It throws you right into the combat here. And for this game in particular, what you're going to do is you're going to slide your hands down the screen, and that's going to make your characters attack. Um, as you can see here, we're doing some damage, and uh, we are getting destroyed. So, how to play? Uh, watch out, Kubo. Enemies will hit back if you attack them. And one hit is all it takes to down one of your characters. Life's not fair, Kubo. And uh, as you can see here, we're going to attack one more time. And uh, we are going to get obliterated here in a minute. Uh, help will come when this gauge fills up. It even fills up when you're not playing, Kubo. If you can't wait, use the golden hourglass to fill up your party. I've given you a couple of hourglasses. Try using them when you're in a pinch, Kubo. So here we go. Uh, we've got ten hourglasses here. Um, as you can see, later on in the game, you can purchase... Um, more. So we're just going to use it here and we're going to get a full party back. Defeat does not exist in this fantasy, does it? No Kubo. So we've got Torque party members now and we are going to uh, wipe out these goblins. That's the fever button. It only appears once every three hours. Now's your chance. Once you press it, you can attack all you want. Let the hate flow through you. Kubo, no mercy. And as you can see here, once we uh, hit that fever button, it's just uh, sliding madness with your fingers here. You're just going to slide them across the screen as fast as you can. And uh, it's actually pretty fun. Um, especially once you get into the higher rounds here. You are victorious. And as you see we're in Cornelia's tract. Uh, the red spot marks uh, the gauge where we're going next. So as you can see right here, red dot underneath the enemy. And uh, we're just going to keep uh, keep battling some enemies here. We got, looks like a beaver of some kind and another goblin. Uh, you are victorious, you obtained 90 gil and 8 experience points, uh, we're level 2, party slot unlocked. So now we got 13 characters, and um, as you progress, you will um, lock more slots, and you will be doing uh, new characters as well. And we're just going to finish up with these last beavers here. You are victorious, 90 gil, 6 experience points, and we are now level 3. Um, and there's uh, a few stages uh, per battle sequence that you get yourself into. Um, 90 gil, 8 experience points. Alright, so we just finished Cornelius Tract. Um, clearing one stage will cause another to appear. Tap the new stage once to select it and once more to enter battle. So I'm going to go ahead and click the next stage here. I, Garland, will knock you all down. So now Garland is, um, he's a mini boss in the first Final Fantasy game. Um, and as you can see, he's pretty easy to beat here. Um, Final Fantasy 1, in my opinion, is one of the harder Final Fantasy games. Um, and, uh, we just killed him. Uh, and we got 210 gil and 10 experience points. Um, Garland is definitely one of my favorite bosses. He's really cool. Uh, the fight's about to start, Kubo. Now go kill those nasty bosses for all Moogle kind. So we're gonna go ahead, and we're gonna continue our way through Cornelia's tract. With some more battles. Alright, you have Victorious, 90 gil, 8 experience, uh, level 4, party slot unlocked. Some new enemies, two wolves. I really like the uh, the graphic style of this game. It's really nice to look at. Uh, you're victorious, 120 gil, 12 experience points, and we just got ourselves a new uh, fighter, and that's a ranger, and we got the white mage. 
So as you can see, everybody has different battle animations according to the character. And we're just going to finish up this bear here. We are now 14 party slots. Uh, we're victorious, I'm going to Gil to experience. So guys, yeah, this is um, it's a really fun game. I think everybody should give this a try. I think it's... Um, I won't say not well known, but I don't think it's been received well. Um, like I said, it's not the traditional Final Fantasy game. You just slide your fingers across the screen, and that's how you make your way through the game. Alright guys, now we're at the final boss for Cornelius Tract. The cycle of strife brings you here. You shall never be free of me. Not even in death. Now we have this boss here, and usually um, in the playthroughs you want to kind of grind through um, some of the levels to take down some of these harder bosses, because once you, as you progress through the game, these bosses are going to be extremely difficult, and you can't just zoom through the next levels. Um, there is some grinding that's required to get through these levels. Um, not for these first two bosses, but trust me, once uh, once you see the later parts of the game, you will see um, how difficult it can actually be. So we are victorious, 420 gil, 30 experience, and uh, we get this beautiful cutscene with the music, um, and it tells us all about the game, which we'll have. Final Fantasy, ATB, all the greatest. Congratulations, Kubo, you defeated the first boss. Now you'll see a menu bar at the top bottom of the screen, Kubo. If you ever need to know more, go back to the title screen from that menu and select how to play. The world's depending on you, Kubo. And as that comes to a conclusion, our next episode will be Bridge of Moor. And that does it for this first episode. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.